It's my great pleasure to share with you our results in the VIP group of Telegram. We have made over a thousand pips of profit. And as we can see, here are the signals of the last week. As you can see, at least 90% of them are in great and excellent profit. Outstanding signals, excellent performance from Extreme Trader. And this is, of course, the results of our meetings with the tutor who is actually sending out these signals. We have discussed the mistakes and we have changed the way of sending these signals and choosing them and as we can see here are the results right in front of you that is really amazing and we have made total of course of 1064 pips of profit now of course this is the total volume of the pips which means most likely you did not make this number but most likely you have made this number right here because this number if you have actually aimed take profit number one alone you should have actually made 380 pips of profit even with the losses right here and there uh you should actually have been able at least to make 380 pips of profit with our signals so again i'm very proud and i'm so actually excited about the next week and it seems like finally we are back on track and extreme trader are keeping up its name as one of the best forex signals provider in the world so i really hope it's going to continue this way and hopefully we will continue providing you with the best forex signals of course my friends if you would uh, if you would like to join our vip group of telegram please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below of this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there so that was really excellent signals in the VIP group of Telegram. I'm really so proud of it. And again, I really wish it's going to continue this way. Anyway, my friends, let's now begin our weekly analysis. And as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. But before we continue, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly leave a comment and share the video. And always remember that your comment make actually a lot of difference to our channel. Anyway, now we are actually on the weekly chart for the Euro USD. And as we can see right now, the first thing that we can notice right now is that the pair has actually reversed at the, at the key level of a resistance at 1.115. Now, what's happening here? Let me just share with you what's happening. Uh, on the Euro USD and based on the weekly chart, we have here, of course, a broken triangle, as we can see. Right there, like, right here, just like that. So what happened is when the market actually makes a bullish breakout from a triangle, usually what is going to happen or actually the normal behavior of the market is it will continue the rise above that level of a resistance and reach the key level of a resistance which usually 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and after that it will reverse exactly on it to begin the retest of the broken level of a resistance trend line to create of course a new support trend line so that's exactly what's happening what's happening right here let me just confirm if this is indeed Fibonacci 61.8 or not and let's not draw our Fibonacci retracement check this out indeed it is indeed 61.8 fibonacci retracement which means right now the euro usd should actually begin the retest of the uh, of the broken level of a resistance trend line so uh based on the weekly chart it has been confirmed that the pair reversed exactly at 61.8 fibonacci retracement and most likely we have to look to short this pair moving now to the daily chart so right now daily chart shows uh, shows us of course right here a real level of a resistance at 1.112 and the euro usd has already reversed exactly on that level remember last friday we had of course the non-farm payroll and the uh, unemployment rate news and the candles as we can see has made here a big uh, movement uh, a low, uh, actually a, a high volatility but eventually the market actually kept its uh, direction i mean uh, this is the candle, of course, at the time of the news, as we can see, it closed as a, a lot of pressure from the buyers and sellers, but the candle after shows the right direction. In my opinion, this is the correction and the Euro USD has indeed given up upon the pressure of the resistance at 1.112. So as we can see, that is the reason the next two candles seems to be weaker and they are actually bearish candles. It means that the euro usd right now is going indeed to continue the fall and now as we can see right now here also if i switch to the one hour time frame look at that a lot of volatility which indeed confirms that the market actually has been ranging at that level before finally decides the right direction which, which is going to be again bearish so now back to the daily chart we have to confirm if this was indeed um uh, the right direction so what i will do right now is simply squeeze the chart like this or actually lowering the price scale and let's now draw our channels actually this way we can actually find um 
or sorry, not fund. I mean, we can actually see the market in a better way, more clear way. And as you can see, guys, check this out. So indeed, a channel has been created here and the real level of a resistance trend line indeed has been respected. So that means indeed that the euro USD should indeed continue the fall. And our last confirmation will be, of course, with the resistance trend line right here. Check this out. So again, we have here another resistance trend line that indeed has been respected. All of that on daily chart. So again, a lot of confirmations that the euro USD is facing a lot of pressure right here at that level of 1.112. So meaning uh, we have to look indeed to short this pair at least to reach the, the next key level or the nearest key level of a support, which is going to be right here at 1.109. So again, confirmed that the market should actually be good to be sold. Now back to the four hour time frame. Now here on the four hour time frame, what we can do right now is simply look at the nearest level of a resistance to that bearish breakout candle. So as we can see right here is the nearest level of a key resistance exactly at, let me just uh, show you, confirm exactly right there at 1.110. And that should be actually the next level to start shorting the euro USD after it make a rise to another ar uh, around uh, 16 or 15 pips. But just to be sure, let me just scroll to the left side to confirm if this level was indeed a strong key level of a resistance in the past. It was here a resistance, as we can see, another resistance and pay, uh, pay attention. It was indeed a real level of a resistance. Again, continue scrolling to the left and check this out. That's fantastic. We are actually almost at a key level of a resistance. No matter how I scroll to the left side, it will always. Oh, my God, look at that. Confirmed that this level is indeed a, a very strong key level of a resistance. So back to the current time, uh, we will short the euro USD exactly at 1.110, targeting, of course, the nearest level of a key support, as I have stated earlier, at 1.109, uh, targeting at least 100. Actually, we can even make it. Uh, less than that, I would really like to send you guys uh, more realistic signals. Therefore, these are more achievable. So uh, targeting around, let's say around 100 pips of profit and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the pre uh, the previous level of a key resistance right here at 1.114, uh, ranging for around 42 pips only. And let's now go to the pound USD. All right, so now from uh, on the pound USD from the four hour time frame, I can see clearly right here, my friends, a broken level of a support trend line. And right now, it seems like the pound USD is indeed on its way to reach that broken level of a support trend line to create a new resistance trend line. I mean, it's just really so obvious. And I'm not sure if we actually need any further analysis on this pair, but we still have to do that just to confirm the direction. Uh, but on the four hour time frame, it's obvious that the pair will continue the rise facing not only the previous level of a key support trend line, but also the key level of a resistance right here at 1.315, which was also in the past a support. But we still have to confirm the direction. So moving now to the four hour time frame. Again, four hour time frame shows that the market actually has uh, actually was unable to break out from the key level of a resistance at 1.314. And of course, it was in the past a key level of a support as well. So that means that based on the weekly chart, the next candle should actually be red and the pound USD should actually at least continue the fall to retest the broken level of a resistance right here at 1.304. At least, at least. I mean, it actually should even fall more than that. But I'm telling you at least to reach uh, around 80 pips, uh, uh, hopefully of profit if we sold the pound USD. So again, I would like really to go back to the pound, to the four hour time frame and again confirm here the broken level of a support trend line. And that is actually much more reliable signal in my opinion. And exactly that's going to be the, our uh, our entry to short the um, pound USD at 1.305. We have to wait for the pair to rise to another. 24 pips then target at least uh, around 110 pips of profit and the safe zone that also shouldn't be ranging higher than the previous level of a key resistance right here exactly at uh, 1.320 ranging for around uh, 45 pips against 110 pips of profit let's now move to the AUD USD now AUD USD is actually easier to be analyzed because uh, we have here, of course, a very clear head and shoulders pattern that has actually appeared on the four hour time frame. And we can see that even on, oops, 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 we can even see that uh, on the daily chart. 
a very clear again head and shoulders pattern so again all of that confirms that the AUD USD should be good to be short for the next week and not only that but even right here on the daily chart we can see of course a broken level of a supported trend line so again a lot of confirmations that the market should actually be good to be sold uh, next week and we can actually expect from the next candle to start the rise right here to retest the broken level of a support trend line and again create a new resistance trend line and begins the fall so uh, three kind of confirmations that the AUD USD should be good to be shorted less uh, sorry next week now where exactly we can sell this pair that's the question of course we cannot ignore the fact that we have right here of course a strong key level of a resistance as well right here exactly at the bracket of 0 0.68 so uh, by jumping right now to the four hour time frame i would like to highlight this level of a resistance because it's interesting right here to be precise right there exactly as 0 0.670 so that was a strong key level of a resistance do not underestimate this level why first of all it became here as a key support level which indeed has been broken out from and if we scroll to the left side check this out this level has indeed been a very strong key level of a resistance in the past and the market actually has been declined to, uh, from breaking out from it for a long period. Then when the market even made a bullish breakout, finally it instantly went back with zero support, uh, support level has been created right here. So again, confirms that the AUDUSD is facing, facing here a lot of pressure. So let's short the AUDUSD exactly at 0 0.670. Now to find our take profit level, I would really like to use our uh, Fibonacci retracement. So check this out. We are actually actually going to sell the AUDUSD exactly at Fibonacci 0 0.670. And we can actually target uh, Fibonacci 50. Uh, aiming at least 120 pips hopefully gonna be in a very good profit as we can see like that and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the peak of the resistance right here exactly as 0.675 ranging for around 53 pips against 120 pips of profit let's now move to the USD CAD all right so now for the USD CAD if we switch right now to the weekly chart now what we can see right here of course my friends is a retest of not a retest of course i mean a, a respect of that level of a key support at 1.346 now what's happening here with the usd cad that's really important let me just share with you <clears throat> sorry I, I had to pause the recording because i sneezed <laughs> okay so what happened here is of course uh we have a broken level of a support trend line as we can see connecting only of course the real levels of a support trend line based on the weekly chart this support trend line has actually begun since march 2021 and as we can see it always has been respected we had in the middle one fake breakout but indeed repeatedly was respected right here it has been indeed respected so finally we have here the actual bearish breakout from that level of a support trend line so what's happening right now is the following the market actually has been uh, reversing at that level of a key support because that is exactly how usually the forex market works when you have of course a long-term support trend line as we can see and being broken out from the market will actually continue the fall till it reached fibonacci 61.8 uh, support retracement and after that it will start the rise again to begin the journey to to make actually the new level of a resistance trend line that is exactly what's happening right here so again we have here the broken level of a support trend line we have the fibonacci 61.8 uh, support let me just confirm it to you exactly as we can see it reversed exactly at 61.8 and right now the usd cad is rising again to retest the broken level of a support trend line to create a new resistance trend line so it has been confirmed uh, that we can actually look to to buy the usd cad till it reach the broken level of a support right here exactly or actually even the the, the real level of a resistance right here at 1.360 that should be actually our take profit level at least another 82 pips so meaning the usd cad will continue the rise and right now moving to the four hour time frame uh let me just scroll to the left side to find the strong key level of a support that we can indeed rely on check this out right here exactly at that level of a support at 1.354 as you can see this was my friends a very strong key level of a support that shouldn't actually be ignored so uh, scrolling right now to the current time i believe that it's going to be safe to buy the usd cad after it dropped to another 22 pips respecting that level of a previous key level of a support and if we would like to use the fibonacci retracement just to confirm this entry 
uh, we can say, I mean, I didn't even check this before recording. We can say that uh, we are actually buying exactly at 38.2. So therefore, uh, we have to wait for the pair to fall to another 23 pips before we can buy it, targeting at least 103 pips of profit and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than the previous level of a key support right here, or actually, sorry, not key support, I mean a real level of a support at 1.350. So therefore, our safe zone will be ranging for 45 pips only against 104 pips of profit. Let's now move to the NZD USD. All right, so actually, NZD USD, my friends, is really similar to the AUD USD. Uh, based on the daily chart, we have here again the head and shoulders pattern, uh, which again confirmed that the NZD USD should be good to be short for the next week. And by now moving to the four hour time frame, we can see clearly that we had right here the nearest level of a resistance, right here exactly, uh, which is of course the nearest one to that bearish breakout candle. That's my strategy, my friends. Always look at the bearish breakout candle, then look at the nearest level of a resistance to that bearish breakout candle, and then sell your pair exactly at the peak of it. So therefore, uh, if we scroll to the left side, we can actually confirm that this was indeed a very strong key level of a resistance, and sure enough, right here exactly. To be even more precise, we can make it just like that. Yes, I'm just, I just really like to be so accurate with my signals, guys. So again, uh, we have here indeed again another broken level of a support trend line as we can see so another confirmation uh, that the NZDUST should be good to be shorted again so I mean it doesn't really require that uh, that much of analysis we can continue shorting the NZDUST till 0 0.612 targeting at least uh, 72 pips of profit but why why choosing this take profit level because it's the nearest level of a key support to our entry and that is going to be the safest take profit level that we can have also don't be greedy guys 72 pips is not really a little again uh the safe zone shouldn't be ranging also higher than the previous level of a key resistance right here exactly at 0 0.623 uh the safe zone ranging for around 34 pips against 72 pips of profit and that's gonna be everything my friends for the weekly analysis and we are going to skip the UCCHF again for this week for a simple reason this pair is just not so safe to be traded right now um by looking at the weekly chart the pair is actually at the absolutely lowest level of a support at 0 0.837 and for the safety of my followers i will never give a random, a random signals um, if I'm not sure about it, I will not send it. This is the problem with the UCCHF. Actually, it's really right now is uh, going in a downtrend. And by reaching this level of the lowest level of a support, now nobody can predict what's going to happen next with this pair. If it's going to make a bearish breakout from it or it's going to reverse, I'm expecting a reversal. But I will not risk my followers' funds and money uh, just in, uh, for the sake of sending signals. I am honest here and I will tell you guys, I don't know what we can expect predict next with the uh, UCCHF and my, my advice to you avoid it to the, to the maximum right now because you just simply don't want to stuck in the middle of the fight between uh, the bulls and the bears now they are in the games uh, sorry now they are actually in this game the market makers are right now in this game and you surely do not want to stick in the middle just wait for them to decide the direction and just follow it later after being confirmed so until then my friends um, I think it was uh, I hope, sorry, I mean, I hope it's going to be a good uh, signals. And again, don't forget to join our VIP group of Telegram to receive at least five signals every single day. And hopefully we will send you uh, great signals like these ones right here. And hopefully you will make a lot of profits with our signals. So until then, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.